and now I'm in the aftermath after the fast. This is the part that absolutely floors me. I can't believe it. I lost even more weight. Let me tell you about yesterday. I broke my fast. Three eggs, over a half pound of beef, um, three quarters to a pound of pork ribs. I mean, I, I bought a kilo. I bought three pounds. And I ate at least a third or more. So I'm, I'm being conservative when I say I ate a pound of pork ribs. Um, I ate pecans, a handful. I'm just trying to think back what I ate. And then <clears throat> at 8 o'clock, uh, lie, 9 o'clock, I had eight chicken wings. So four flats, four drumettes, and four tips. So the entire wing. And then I had a big old spoon of peanut butter. And that's horrible. Peanut butter is actually, like, not the best. It's skippy. tastes great. But uh, it's got sugar, obviously. Uh, 10%. So it's 10 grams of carbs per 100 grams of, 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 uh, <coughs> of peanut butter. But even if I ate the whole 100 grams, that would be about 3 ounces. That's a quarter of a pound. That's, that's actually a lot of peanut butter. I don't think I ate that much. It was on a, on a big uh, soup spoon. Um... And, uh, okay, that's people delivering stuff, whatever. <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> um, and, and that, so that would have been 10 grams of carbs all day because I ate nothing else. I didn't eat salad. It was pure meat uh, and eggs <clears throat> and, uh, cheese. Oh, and uh, after, after the wings, this is at nine o'clock at night, after the wings, I ate, uh, four, eight, like 12 slices. 10 to 12 slices of rolled smoked turkey ham. I laid four, laid four, and then I put two across. So yeah, it was uh, 10 slices. And then two more slices of American cheese, and I microwaved that and ate that. Um, so I, I guess that that's kind of a lot of food. And I lost even more weight till the morning. And it's not like a glass of water worth of weight. It's significant weight. It's, it's a little more than a kilo that I lost from yesterday morning to this morning. It, it just, I, what, all I can think of is the body was out there. I know I was in autophagy, deep autophagy. Yeah, I know my body was wiping out old cells, continuing to do so, because I have a lot of old cells to wipe out. And it was blown away mitochondria. It was looking for cancer viruses, should they exist. It was looking for bacteria. Uh, <clears throat> it's trying to reform everything. I, I Literally this last fast, I was euphoric. I have actually never felt this good during a fast. And I mean euphoria. It was like, I think I expressed that during my video. It was crazy nuts. And now what to eat today? Now I'm all inspired to just eat the hell out of some meat, man. I'm just like, wow. Just some big old beefy, fatty something because, damn. I bought the stuff for salad, but I wound up not eating a salad. That was that was crazy. I didn't I didn't even I didn't even eat my salad. Um, maybe I'll munch down on a salad today. I don't know, some docs say the fiber is good, some docs say you don't need it. I don't know. You know, if I feel like I want it, I eat it. And if I don't feel like I want it, then I don't eat it. Like lately, I've been having an aversion to chicken wings. It's like, duh, you eat so many. Well, pizza, you don't have an aversion to pizza, so shut up. Okay, sorry. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm almost 12 hours into, into the next fast. I mean, I, I went to bed uh, about 10.10. 10. Yeah, and I woke up 7.30 like normal, <clears throat> and it's about 8.30 now, so I'm half an hour away from 12 hours. And then we're going to eat again, uh, probably one, so it's 12, 13, 14, 15. So it's only 16 hours of fasting, but I'm, I'm kind of down to either OMAD or a 16.8. And I've been maintaining. Uh, never, ever hungry. I don't get hungry, guys. And when I get hungry, 
I eat meats and I eat eggs and I eat cheese and I eat butter and I eat just oh, I just I wish really I, I I wish there were a way for you to just you know it, do it do it week by week like uh, Dr. Eckberg look his video up on how to get started on this thing for the first week just remove all your added sugars that would include fruit honey I mean anything that has uh, glucose and fructose in it and just read all your packages uh, high fructose corn syrup gone okay the week after that um, you'll probably be nail biting and a little cravy then remove your grains no more bread no more tortillas no more corn nothing nothing that is a seed okay Wheat's a seed, rice is a seed, corn's a seed. These are all grass seeds. Um, I, I don't know exactly the botanicalness of it all, but uh, pretty much they're grass seeds, okay? So all grains are gone. Third week, well, since the beginning, don't even bother using um, these vegetable oils. Get rid of that. Really, just throw it away. Don't even give it to your enemy. Throw that garbage away, <clears throat> all right? But the, the third thing you want to do is remove all refined foods. Anything that comes in a box. Don't even open a box. Don't open ketchup. Don't, not mustard. Nothing right now. Okay? You're going to be left eating leafy greens. So it would be a typical salad. Yes, throw a tomato on there. Um, try to get away from carrots. They're a little high in sugar. But throw some broccoli on there. Throw some cauliflower on there. Throw some spinach. Um, I don't personally eat much spinach because I get it from other things. Um, the fruit that you can eat is the avocado. Throw an avocado on there. Make your own dressing. Do not open a bottle. The best dressing in the world. The best dressing in the world that I found. Put salt, hence the word salad, solid, salt. The salad comes from literally ensalada. It means salted. So throw salt on your salad. Put apple cider vinegar on your salad and put olive oil on your salad. You're going to be in cloud nine. You really will. You're going to be like, put pepper on it. Put some powdered garlic on there. Put some powdered onion on there. You're not going to hurt yourself. And then um, during that whole time, consume massive amounts of meat and eggs. All that you want. Dr. Berg would recommend eating your salad first, okay? He likes about 10 cups. <sighs> That's a lot for me. I, I, I eat a little bowl of salad, okay? And then I eat the hell out of beef, pork, chicken, fish, eggs, cheese. I can handle cheese. If it bloats you, don't eat cheese. And no, no, no milk, but cream, yes, okay? So, again, that's it. And then you get to the point where you're not hungry, so you don't eat. And then you, like, might even not be hungry for a day, and then don't eat. Drink water only when you're thirsty. And every time you drink water, take a little pinch. Literally, grab, dip your fingers into the salt, take a pinch, and put the water down. You won't even get the headaches. You won't get anything. You won't even get the flu, probably, the keto flu, that, that idea of your body transitioning into fat if you reduce things slowly and carefully. I did it all at once, got it over with in like four or five days. So anyway, that's today. Again, floored, super, can't believe it. Eating all I ate yesterday, I ate pounds of food. I don't know where it went because I don't mean to get weird here, but uh, my, uh, my toiletry habits, it wasn't a lot. So I don't know where it went. It's just gone. It's just gone. I guess I breathed it out or sweated it or burned it off or rebuilt something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't even pretend to understand this. I don't want to understand it. I just know it's right. It works for me. And if it could possibly work for you, it will change your life. I will leave you on that. You guys have a good weekend. Talk soon. Bye.